So let's go ahead and see what is in the bestiary, dude. I'm excited. Two weeks. Okay. Welcome, everybody. The bestiary league. In the bestiary challenge league, Hunter, Scavenger, Einhar, Frey teaches you to hunt, capture, and sacrifice. Hunt, Our capture, and sacrifice. Welcome home. Corey's with the 11-month resub. Thanks so much, dude. Much appreciated, man. I'm actually going to turn this down just a little. Hold on. It's too loud for me. Okay. Actually, can you guys even hear that? I don't even know. It's so weird, like, adjusting my headset volume sometimes. Okay. But that's pretty cool. Capturing. Capturing, hunting, and sacrificing. Path of Exile's March update includes B-Serie League, uh, dozens of new items, new gems, new endgame content, and more. Okay. Uh, with Einher's help, you can capture any of the beasts of Ray class. As you master the art of hunting, you can capture legendary beasts, which are rare and formidable foes. So this is like the act of taming a wolf, I guess. This would be taming a crab. I don't know what the fuck is in this one here. Is he taming this? Is this like the animation for it? I see these little like stone things. It'd be a pain if you one shot something you want to capture. Yeah, I'm really curious how that's going to work. So like the biggest, my biggest concern about this is I hope it doesn't add like a lot of backtracking. I'm all for like new stuff to do. That's just like, not just raw, like grinding of maps. Okay. Reptiles. Oh, this is cool. This shows, you know what? This is really cool. I like this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it shows like what the monsters do, but that's okay. Maybe in the future they can add an expansion to this. Already thinking, Kappa. But this is cool to just know, like, what monsters are. I feel like there's a lot of information that is unknown about PoE, so any type of, like... <clears throat> any type of, like... Dictionary for PoE? It's not really a dictionary, but do you know what I'm talking about? Any sort of information that is all compiled in one spot for PoE, I think, is a, is a great step. This is cool. They have a lot of different types, though. There's reptiles, crustaceans, so these arachnids, canines. This would be arachnids. So there's four different categories, and then there's these two. There's the skill. You can see it. We'll keep watching. We'll see what's like. What else is in there? I think. I, oh, I think I closed out four. Oh, I closed out of actual like. Whoopsies. Just kidding. I knew that. I uh, I can't type a P in my search bar because it'll pop up Pornhub Kappa. All right, let's click this one. Oh, wait, I didn't even look at the fucking video. In this land, knowledge is strength, and ignorance Amphibians. is death. A hunter must know his prey. Ha, <laughs> dude. Oh, is this how you sacrifice him? Oh, who is that, dude? Who is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Is this the capture? Or is this from his ascendancy? What is V? It looks like a net. Oh, it's a net to capture with. Okay, it's a net. 
That's the hotkey for it. Uber Elder? Did I haven't even fought regular Elder yet? <laughs> oh! That slam! Double strike versus the world. Survivors. That looks pretty cool, dude. I'm pretty excited to see like what else is in here. I told myself like I wasn't really too excited. Well, before I knew what the league was, I was more excited for like the ascendancy rework. But I think this complements it more because I didn't really want to see more content. I wanted like quality of life and stuff. I guess this doesn't necessarily fall in the category of quality of life, but it, it adds like more to do. I guess more into like a crafting thing, you know, like getting getting people to understand like all the different types of stuff. Because I saw in there like you could craft like weapons and maps and there was something else. Okay, so we should be here. Capture dangerous beasts. All right, we showed this one here. Expand the bestiary. Uh, okay, an extensive book describing the existence and classification of all of Raycast wildlife. As you capture beasts, your progress is tracked. Can I see my progress, please? How's this look? Okay, this just shows... Didn't we look at this already? I feel like we looked at those ones. Populate your... How do you even pronounce this, dude? Men menagerie? Menagerie? I I'm stupid, dude. I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Dude, this looks so cool! <laughs> this makes POE feel like a little bit more of like an MMO to me. Which is really good since there have been like no good MMOs out recently, Kappa, but... This looks really cool. He's got avians here. What are these? These are the, uh, these are the cobras. I don't know what that is. These are the suppressing fire mobs. I can't see what's in the other ones. That looks mad. That's new. I don't know what that is. That guy looks PJ Salt. Oh, and this is it when it's like naked. I wonder if you can pick a different like hideout thing based on your level. Beast crafting. Sacrifice your captured beast at the blood altar to create and modify modify powerful items. The strongest beast crafting recipes will require capturing defeated the rarest and most dangerous beasts. Okay, create a rare shield with maximum life. It shows you what you need. Create a rare item with fire res, cold res, chaos res. So this is pushing away from recipe. Well, not recipe, but like vendor recipe and making it more known. This is what I was saying I like. Strength, dex, intelligence. Create a socketed item with at least four linked sockets. Aha. Uh -huh. Dude, this is almost like incorporating a little bit of Harbinger into the game, but like not as spammy. Does that make sense? Let's see. Create a rare map with four mods, five mods, six mods. It completely changes here. Create an item with one white socket, two white sockets, superior granite flask. Uh, create a skill, a skill gem, a superior movement speed skill gem. Split an item in two. What is? I have to figure out what that means. That. I don't. I have no fucking clue what that would be. I wonder if you can, like, craft with that, and you have a chance of removing, like, 50% of the mods. So that's, like, another way of reverse exalting, of just removing properties off to recraft again. I don't know. I have no fucking clue what split in two. I'm guessing this cannot be used on a unique unless it's, like, specific uniques. What is this? This he's just fighting. One white socket, two white sockets, granite flask, and speed, half the mods on each item. Oh, it says it. It's with half the mods on each item. Oh. Add a mod to a map. Reroll socket colors. Death's Oath, boys! Reroll socket colors. This is such a nice little UI, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Beastcraft a portal. 
to the spirit lands to hunt one of the four different spirit beasts. These difficult encounters yield valuable, unique item rewards and crafting opportunities. That guy looks cool, dude. Helmet. Uh, block chance to spells. Increase energy shield. Maximum life. Cannot lose crab barriers. Can I hold alt? It doesn't show it. Cannot lose crab barriers if you have lost a crab barrier recently. 3% additional chance to block while you have at least 5 crab barriers. 5% additional chance to block while you have at least 10 crab barriers. Okay, so interesting. Uh, boots give pretty decent armor, life, uh, a low... This is level 58. Um, cannot be stunned if you have 10 or more crab barriers. Only lose 7 crab barriers when you take physical damage from a hit. Okay, next piece, 60 life regen per second, increased damage per crab barrier, 10% chance that if you would gain a crab barrier, you instead gain up to your maximum number of crab barriers. So what does the chest piece do then? Grants level 20 aspect of the crab, has 2k armor before quality, 100 life, immunity to bleed dude dude this chess piece gives you hold on let me clarify it says you cannot be inflicted with bleed does that mean you can still get bled if you don't get hit by an attack i don't know what that means exactly um but let's just let's just assume for the basic part like you're essentially immune to bleed for 99 or 98 percent of scenarios this chest piece gives you immunity to bleed, like 3,000 armor, 100 in life, an aura slash self buff, and plus to maximum number of crab barriers. Dude, it's a set! It's like a set. I'm, I don't even care. I'm pretty excited for it. It's just something cool to build around. It's nice, you know, it's nice for people who like can't... I, I get a lot of questions all the time of people saying they don't really know how to theorycraft craft their builds. But I think this is nice for people to strive for, even though it may be like super expensive at the start of a league. It gives people something that they can work towards that doesn't require too much effort to theorycraft. You know, you just put all the gear together and then you put a little bit of effort. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I like that. That's pretty cool. Because you could put all these together. You put all three of these together. Or four, sorry, four. And you're blue, too. Dude, you don't even need an MTX. This is literally the MTX for you. <laughs> the Uber Elder. Having corrupted the Shaper's Guardians, the Elder has gained the power to bend the Shaper to his will. Defeat both of them at the center of the Atlas of Worlds in the Path of Exile's hardest encounter. So this is where all the OP characters go. So this is, this is a, I don't even know what the fuck is happening. See, I've never done the elder fight, so I don't know, but here's the hentai guy. These are shaper bubbles. That's a shaper beam. There looks like so much shit that's happening in this. That's only one of the four sets. That's pretty fucking badass. I didn't even realize that. This looks, dude, this looks like a fight for a RF Zerker. Oh, wait, just kidding. I have to see the changes, these ascendancies. Okay. This is looking pretty cool, dude. This is making me want to, like, do a lot of stuff here. Revamp the ascendancy classes. Each. 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 Of the 19 ascendancy classes has been substantially rebalanced. To ensure a consistent power level. Many have received new mechanics to build around. So this already looks different. Because this used to be here. And then this curve different. Wait, this looks... Did they add an extra one to Chieftain? I don't even remember. Oh, man! Okay, so here we go. Hold on, hold on. Alright. let's. Let me move my webcam. I don't want to block anything. Or I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put myself over here, boys, okay? Hold on. I don't know Chieftain as well as I know Berserker, so let me look at Berserker. Okay. So, Crave the Slaughter. Let's look... 
Wait, wait, wait. It's hard to see this. Hold on, hold on. How do you, like, fully see this? Pain... Okay, Pain Reaver is up here. Alright, so Pain Reaver is the same. Cloaked in Savagery. 100% of damage leeches life if taken a Savage... I think this is primarily, like, the same. Warbringer. Recover 25% of life and mana when you use a Warcry. 100% increased Warcry duration. 100% increased Warcry cooldown recovery. Gain 5 rage when you use a Warcry. Attack only leech. Oh, it's attack leech. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's read this. You lose 1 Rage every 0.5 seconds if you have not been hit or gained Rage recently. You gain the following effects while you have Rage. Attack speed per Rage increased... Oh, attack damage per Rage increased attack speed per Rage. Movement speed per Rage lose max life per second per 1 Rage. Wait, why does that matter for RF? Just because you lose life? I feel like as much as this may be a pain in the ass... You're a berserker, boy! Zug Zug! It's okay. Rite of Ruin sounds nuts. It stacks to 50? So that's what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm, I'm stupid. How much, how much minus life per second does get to? Like 12%? 15%? 20%? 10%? That's pretty big, actually. That's a pretty big no-no. Uh, maybe you should... Uh, I'd recommend if you're new, do not play the RF Berserker build anymore. I'd recommend for you guys to uh, wait. <laughs> I would... Uh, let's let's keep checking out what we have here. Effects from Rage... Wait, effects granted from Rage are doubled? This would work for the... Oh. Oh. I see. But wait, Warbringer is here. Right of Ruin? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's not good. Hold on, wait a second. What is this note here? Cloaked in Savagery, Pain Reaver. Crave the Slaughter. Is this Aspect of Carnage? Do you have to go through Right of Ruin to get Aspect of Carnage? Right of Ruin is 4 point. So where's Aspect of Carnage? Wait, I'm so confused. Where do you get this? Bottom. Oh, you're saying the text is moved over. Oh, okay, Warbringer is here. Right of Ruin is... Right of Ruin is up. Crave the Slaughter is across. An Aspect of Carnage is across. It doesn't matter. Whatever. That part doesn't matter. I was never good at puzzles. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, that's good. Y you know what? When I first started playing PoE, I told myself, I'm so happy that this game doesn't have classes because I kind of like creating my own stuff. Um, but I think after playing the game for a long time and just there's so much out nowadays, I think it's nice to kind of restrict a little bit now, you know? Okay, Chieftain. Ramaka Sunlight. Whoa! 100% to Fire Res? Hold on. It didn't used to give this. No. 1% life regen per second. 10% of physical damage from hits. Taken as fire. Life regen per second if you've taken fire from a hit recently. Unaffected by Ignite. That's, that's pretty decent, dude. 100 Fire Res? 100 fire res is pretty fucking good, dude. That's like... That's pretty yummy. Okay. Tawaha's forest strength. Life regen... Uh, maximum life regen per second per endurance charge when you... Okay. 10% increased fire damage per endurance charge. Hinakori's death fury. 1% of fire damage to each is life. Increased strength. 1% of damage dealt by your tenemas leech to you is life. Chance to cover rare or unique enemies in ash when you hit them. Enemies that are covered in ash have 20% less movement speed and take 20% increased fight. This is nuts for RF shield charge. 
if you can get your shield charge fast enough, this is retarded. Because, dude, you get... Okay, hold on. You get half the damage of a Berserker because of this, right? Maybe not half the damage because of, like, I don't know, diminishing returns and stuff of other multipliers. But you get a decent fucking chunk of damage that stacks with everything that you do. You get more life because guess what? Increased strength. You get fucking ass tons of life regen. You get fucking increased fire damage per endurance charge. Can we even talk about Ramaka's 100 fire resistance of sunlight? This is looking stupid. Anyway, let's move on though. There's more to this game than RF. Okay. Now, Nagamu's flame advance. Um, unaffected by ignite. I don't think this matters for rf because i don't think rf is an ignite it's its own separate mechanic i could be wrong i could totally be wrong it's been a little while poe is really niche with their mechanics i don't think this does it though it does oh well then it's okay you just don't get ramaka's sunlight i mean it's okay like there's other stuff for you to get anyway we're not here to theory craft <clears throat> I mean, it's a degen. I feel like my chat is like is debating me now. Um. Anyway, we're moving on. We're moving on. Ninety nine percent sure it's not an ignite. Uh, fifty percent of physical damage converted to fire. Wow. Wow. Fifty percent of physical converted to fire. So if you go into Gamus with Avatar of Fire. <laughs> you have full conversion, you gain 10 pen, and every 10 seconds, you get Onigarashi for 3 seconds. That's pretty good! When did Chieftain get damage? Dude, they give Chieftain conversion, penetration. Well, I guess it had a little bit of pen. It had a little bit of stuff in it before, right? 100% of physical added his extra fire. 10% increased fire damage per endurance charge. Uh, fucking cover them with ash. <laughs> being unaffected and being immune are two different terms, guys. Why are you guys trying to debate me, man? That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick, dude. <clears throat> Three new gems. Dozens of new faded uniques. Oh my god, I didn't even see this yet. Yeah, but we weren't talking about Nagami's Axe. There's a lot of different ways you can play it, man. I personally have never really played Nagami's. I guess that'd be cool. You don't have to go Avatar of Fire Raider, right? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm a bit under the weather still. Okay. Three new gems. Spectral Shield Throw. Dude, people have been asking for Shield Throw for so fucking long. Throw a spectral copy of your shield as a projectile, which cannot pierce, and deals offhand. Wait, wait. <clears throat> and deals offhand damage augmented by the defenses of the shield. When it collides with something, it will shatter, launching a number of smaller shards as projectiles in all directions. Modifiers that cause additional projectiles to be fired will add more shards. Captain fucking America, boys! <laughs> Base offhand critical strike chance is 5%. Wait, plus critical strike chance per 10 maximum energy shield on the shield? Oh. So it's like a trade-off. Shard projectiles deal less damage. They deal base hand physical. Added physical per armor or evasion. Has more attack speed on it, which means it's quick. Doesn't have a cooldown. Awesome. I'm just making sure, because sometimes when they increase like stuff like this, there's a cooldown. This is cool, dude. This is cool. 
I like this. This is fucking cool, dude. I want to try something like this. Summon Phantasm on kill. Support skills that can hit enemies or create minions. When those skills or minions kill them? What? Wait! I need to show you guys something. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. I need to show you something that people don't know. This is important. We're going to take a break. I know I'm making this for YouTube as well. YouTube, if you want to end the video now, you can. This is important. This is this is educational for everybody. <laughs> oh, there was patch notes? Or am I stupid? I'll read this some other time. Okay. No, 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 no. Let me show you. This is This is really important. This is cool, I promise. Is it this one? Yes! Okay. So there is a summon that a lot of people don't really know about, and this summon is really good. But it's not like crazy, it's not like OP needs nerf, but in terms of being a summoner who doesn't really need a lot of summons... Did they change it? Why don't I have them? Triggers level 20 Spectral Spirits when equipped. Where are my Spectral Spirits, dude? Chat, did I break it? How, do they have to be in like an um, like a mad place? Here they are. Okay, so these are called spectral spirits, and I have a YouTube video of me clearing with this character, doing like T10 maps and stuff. You can link your spectral spirits, right, which work like this, so they're in a seven link, right? You can see them here. They're supported with like melee physical, uh, minion damage, damage on full life, ruthless, multi strike, melee splash. You could have. Phantasm on kill inside here, right? With your spectral spirits and your spirits, which are 100% invulnerable. These guys cannot take damage. Will trigger these guys with five support gems. So you would get two guys with five support gems. Another off color character. This one's easy though, because it's a crude bow. Crude bow is like nothing. It's not even that hard. No, like, the spirits are legit. They're actual, like... Here, this won't be, like, real content. It's, you know, like, a small thing, but... They're, like, they're real, dude. I don't even know. What is this character? Do I run haste? What do I run? Hatred? Okay. This is a specter character. I don't have my specters right now, so... Go get them, little guys! Look, see, like, they do damage, they're okay. I mean, obviously, they're, like, fucking overleveled and shit, but they would summon the other guys, right? And they have charge, dude, look at them, they have a charge. <laughs> I like these little guys. That's gonna be a build I'm gonna have to try, the auto-summoner build. You don't do anything, but just, like, auto-summon, that's it. Okay. Unannounced. Tectonic Strike. That's a melee skill. We've added 30 new faded unique items. Which can be obtained by completing the prophecies from the Soothslayer Navali. Oh yeah, sorry. It would only get a 4 link. No, it would get a 5 link. It would be Phantasm. 5 support gems for your Phantasm. And your Spectral Spirits is in a socket, so it's two five links. Soothslayer? I don't even know what I said. Yeah, Soothslayer. Soothsayer, sorry, Sayer. Quencholi! Quencholi looks mad as fuck. I'm not really good with weapon DPS, but the fact that this has like 300 top end and almost 400 top end without quality gives you all attributes and you heal life on kill, that looks... I mean, you can make a build around that. That's like easily a build. That's a Mr. Boom Boom build, like, right there. What? Quantity with ES?
Oh, it's not Quencioli anymore. Pan Quetzali Z Pan Quetzalizitol. How do you even fucking type this in? How do you like Pan P Pan Quet Zal is Tali? How the fuck? What is this name, dude? Hold on a second. Let me let me check something. Oh fuck! That hurt really bad. All right, I think I think I got that. It's English, actually. It's Portuguese, according to this. Panquitzalistly. Panquitzalistly. Yeah, dude. Pansexual fucking jagged mall is what I'd like to call it, dude. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Google. As much appreciated. She's better than Alexa, dude. Fox Fortune Wild Leather. Flat fizz, evasion, flat evade, a lot of evasion at full life. Wait, enemies are unlucky when damaging you while you're on full life? That is insane. Hold on. That is really, 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 re Wait, it already gives 2,000 evasion. So it's a 3,500 evasion chest with flat fizz, movement speed, and enemies are unlucky when damaging you while you are on full. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. You know what's even more crazy? It doesn't say when hit, meaning this works for elemental and spell damage. So you even roll the dice twice when you're taking spell damage and elemental damage. It doesn't say low life, it says full life, right? Gain evasion on full life. Enemies are unlucky when you're on full life. They're both full life mechanics. <laughs> That's great with acro, spell dodge, vulgar. This is actually nuts. Like, in my opinion, this is nuts. You will defeat Thunderskull while holding the Magnate. Oh, that's a belt. You will defeat Kaliga, the Imperatrix, while holding the Fen Coil, dude. You need chance to evade spells when you does dodge roll twice with the unlucky mod. I mean, yeah, this is assuming you're like building an evasion character, uh, but I mean, literally, even with just Vol Grace, like if you just use Vol Grace with a Quartz Flask, you can get like fifty to sixty dodge. For what, like 10 seconds? That's all, like, 10 seconds is long enough to kill most bosses um, with like a lot of high damage builds. Not for bossing necessarily, but for bossing, for bossing if you have like phase acro, assuming this works, it does work with with, evade, with uh, spells. But all you have to do is stay on full life and your goal would be to be at full life when you're bossing. You're not just gonna like hover around at like 50%. So this would actually help mitigate a lot of one hit mechanics. So I like that. I mean, why wouldn't it roll? I don't know why. This rolls the damage, though, so why wouldn't it? Unlucky when damaging you. So it doesn't work with Vol... With Acro Vol Grace? I thought that unlucky meant that they roll their attack twice. When it comes to damage. Are we talking about evading the attack? Or are we talking about the damage calculation? If a damage roll, okay, let's see what, according to the wiki, if a damage roll is unlucky, the damage calculation will be rolled twice, and the worst result will be picked instead. Rolls to critical strike, chance, uh, chance to evade, dodge, block are unchanged, and will only happen once. rolls twice and takes the lesser value it's not rocket science well i mean we wouldn't like have a whole debate about it if it was simple you see if poe explain things kappa but no i mean according to it i don't know what that bottom part means it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense that it wouldn't work I'm, I'm just gonna go with my simple assumption and just say 
Off of the top of my head, I'm just gonna go with simple mechanics and say that the damage is rolled twice. That's it. Yeah, chat always confused. I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna focus on this. <clears throat> People just pull quotes from places, which there's nothing wrong with. It's the wiki. I just don't like trusting wiki sources anymore. It's not the damage. It's the hit accuracy. I'm specifically talking about the damage, not the accuracy. See? See, Mr. Simple, dude? We're talking about two completely different terms. <laughs> Uh, okay, and much much more. Did I read this one? Windscream. Those are the boots. Those are the multi multi curse boots with an upgrade. I think those are windscreams, right? All right. Content update 3.2. Also includes a new quest in Act 10. I wonder what this is. This new quest is, dude. Wonder if it's like an actual like not side quest, but like quest that's impactful. 29 new unique items. 10 new divination cards and many other changes. Disintegrator. Maelstrom Staff. Fucking flat fizz. High flat fizz, flat fizz to spells, maximum siphoning charges per elder or shaped item equipped. Oh god, I'm not making a build around this. This is too much of a pain in the ass for me for hardcore, but like, this looks nuts already. 25% chance to gain a siphoning charge when you use the skill. Adds flat fizz to attacks and spells per siphoning charge. Gain 2% of non-chaos damage as extra chaos damage per siphoning charge. Additional physical damage reduction. Oh my god. Damage leech. Damage leech. Not attack. Just damage leeched. And then take 150 physical per second per siphoning charge if you've used a skill recently. Yeah, this is, this is an uber drop. There's too much text on this to be a non-uber drop. This looks pretty crazy, though. Grants level 20 aspect of the cat. That's movement speed. That's movement speed right now, I'm telling you. It's fucking movement speed, dude. Movement speed and crit. I feel it. I want it. It's flat evasion. Don't lie to me, dude. Don't debate me. What's aspect of the crab? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's all these aspects. Aspect of the crab? Aspect of the crab should be while your character is standing still, you're not allowed to crash. Grants level 20 summon petrification statue. What the fuck? 78 life, 7% increase attack and cast speed. 5% additional physical damage reduction while moving. Reduced elemental damage taken while stationary. That's pretty okay. I don't know what that petrification statue is. Upgrades any map on the Atlas to tier 16. This... This is pretty nuts if you can get your hand on it in hardcore, which I'm guessing there's always going to be carries for things. This is pretty cool. Because this allows you to shape your favorite map. That's it. It's done. This literally allows you to shape your favorite map. Any map you want to play, fucking go kill whatever Uber Elder, whatever you need for this, and shape your app. Dude, that's awesome. That's so cool. Uniques too? Probably not. It says any map. It does say any map. But no. We're also launching two sets of supporter packs alongside content update 3.2, the Harpy and Manticore supporter packs. There are two price points uh, available. This one looks, actually, this one looks way cooler than this one. I'm not going to look at the packs here, though. The orb makes the map boss become uber elder. Why you guys, you spoilers, dude. All right, so that's pretty much about it for this content update. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all in Bestiary League. Take care, everybody. Hey, that's going to be a long YouTube video, dude. <laughs>